What's up guys, Omar here with you. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm currently on a little mini vacation after the college season here in Mammoth, so uh, don't mind the snow. I wanted to throw you guys a quick video from a coaching course that I just went to, hosted by Phil Wedden. Phil is one of the best coaches that I've been able to learn from, so the video you guys are about to see is him breaking down three different block shape techniques in a 1v1 situation. Here's a little clip from that. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. So very simple, in here, Miguel and I are gonna serve three different types, we'll get into three different types of 1v1 shapes, okay? So you're gonna start on your knees, and on this side, you're gonna go end up going there, on this side, you're gonna end up going there. So on this side, it's gonna go, a rope is attached to your knee and your elbow, okay? So it's right, catch, toss it back, left, catch, toss it back, this foot's in the ground, I get off of this foot, quick acceleration to here. See, here we go, yeah, here we go, there, yeah, right. there, off the foot, good. So what I'm trying to get to, Nona, is that foot, you don't have to make any adjustment here. It's, I've made a save, there's a block, and I've just got to get up quickly. Yeah. Okay. Right, here we go, yeah, 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 go. In the cross, it doesn't have to be a sprint. Here we go, yeah, there, there, go. The last round, last round, wash up all, all the way into your hand. Ready? Yeah. 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 Oh, go! Yeah, you just grew. There you go. All right. So just switch sides. So you, Miguel, you go to the other side. So now, now we change it up. There was a difference in what I did to what you did. What was it? What was it? Say it louder. The back foot. The back foot. What was different? It went out. Why has it gone out? Yeah, now I've got a nice space. So when you did it, you went like this. Okay, so this, this elbow and this knee were connected, but this foot and this elbow weren't connected. So we've got to get to here. Okay, so it's got to be here like this. All right, so now we'll do the same thing. We'll do the same thing just twice each. Okay, so we can get off the other foot now. All right, but I want you to have that rotation in your body and I want you to try and make yourself as big as possible. So again, it's gonna be a twist, there. Okay, deny space, deny space. Okay, still saving with this hand. Ready? Here we go, twist, there. Make yourself long, there, much better, yeah. Okay, yeah, there. yeah, twist. Good, and you're up. Good, and just hold, just hold. So now we go into the second one, okay? So that's a short block. And again, a couple of, couple of little details. All right, so the first time, first time I asked you to do it, we had this, we had this. Second time, we had this, okay? So we're trying to get this. You've got to be careful about going too wide there because obviously this is dangerous. So you want to try and take that away. But now what are we doing with this hand? What should we do? Yeah, wide, deny space. Okay, so in here, we had the foot and the hand, but then some of us had a trailing hand. Just always involve that second hand. So that's a short block, so now we go into a long block. Okay, so now the ball is gonna be served out here. All right, hand and foot connected, other hand out. If you're super flexible, you drop all the way down. I'm old and I'm not flexible, so I can't do it. Okay, so you're down in here, flip it back down in here, flip it back, and then you bring your foot in, and you're off, and a sprint. Okay, everyone got it? Please, if you are tight at all, if you are sore, groins, hip flexors, whatever, do not go all the way down. If you can go all the way down, go for it, okay? So it's two, and it's the same thing here. Quality handling, followed by this, ready? Heel in the down. Heel, heel. Yeah. So it's actually stay, stay there, stay there. Just do that for me. Just do that for me. Straight leg, straight leg, straight leg. All right, now can you sit your butt down? All right, because what you've got to do is you've got to take away that space down there. Okay, so it's flexibility. Here we go. And you go, go on. Yeah. And you take, can you sit down? Can you sit into it? Sit. Good, yeah, yeah, excellent. Because then I'm not beating you with the ball. I can't beat you. Good, yeah. Into it. You sit into it. Yeah. So when you sit though, when you sit, don't sit away from your foot. 
Okay, sit towards your foot. If that makes sense. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you sit into it? Sit. Drop it back. Sorry. So go, yeah, drop here. Can you drop down? Can you go down here? So I sit to your heel. Sit your backside down towards your heel. Yeah, so it's almost like that. Okay, here we go. One more round. Yeah. Good. And relax. So now, but we'll go straight into that third variety. Okay? So the three varieties for me are we've got same foot, same hand. All right? We've got the low block here, but then we've got the block where we go either short block or long block and the ball goes back in the other direction. So now I'm really going to mess with you and we're going to go right foot, left hand. Okay, so in the middle here, in the middle here, we're going for the hand, not the foot. So it's going to be here, back, here, back, accelerate. So I'm, go I'm going to your left hand first. And the right leg goes out. And the right leg goes out. All right, same thing on the service with the low balls. Ready? Here we go, yeah. yeah. Get the other hand involved though. The other hand has to get involved. All right, so hold on one second. So on the other side, for the three of you on the other side when you did this oh, your hand and your foot right were close together there you go. right now we've gone here this yeah. hand came up here yeah. so now yeah, we've yeah, got to go here all right yeah. here we go rotate go on okay next time ready yeah. Got that hand ready right hand goes out, this uh, other, foot. Hand other foot other foot other foot goes there you go. other foot oh, there other side. Oh. oh my word yes go again no 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 come on let's get it let's get it it's okay all right, so now uh, left, yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't forget that hand has to go as well. Yes, good. A little harder, keep your eyes on the ball. Here we go, ready? Here we go, yeah. Yeah, use the other hand. Yeah, show the other hand. Yeah, good, no, no. Take your turn, walk, walk, take your Ready? Here we go, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's go that side, ready? Here we go, yeah. There, good. Sit into it if you can. Good, yeah. Ready? Other hand, other foot, other foot, other foot. Other foot. Yeah, ready? Other foot. Yeah. Get the other hand involved. Spread. Yes. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Other hand involved. Show me the other hand. Yeah. Other hand involved. Last round. Last round. Ready? Yeah. Good. Excellent. Yes. Good. Okay. So, you three just come over here, please. Jack, you just come in front. So, as we do this, right, I want you to think about a couple of things. All right, so when you, when you go into these shapes, and for me, the most important thing in any type of 1v1 is can you get the ball in your hands as quickly as possible? So I'm not a huge fan of the whole blocking stuff, okay? Because for me, you should get your hands on the ball as quickly as you can, instead of going, oh, I'm gonna block, all right? But when you do block, all right, if I stay open, if I stay open here, all right, sometimes I deny space, which is good. If I sit back in, I've got to make sure that my hands, everything comes forward to take space away. Because if I open up, if I do this and become human and someone hits it, the ball's coming off me and going out instead of controlling the ball in here if possible. Okay, so when you do block, you'll see a lot of coaches and a lot of goalkeepers actually do this with their upper body. So we want to get you into that habit of trying to bring things forward. All right, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Um, again, if you guys liked it, please try and share with somebody you think would benefit from it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And I'm going to leave you guys with this one last note uh, from Phil. Phil is the kind of guy who uh, loves sharing his own ideas and loves learning from other people. And from somebody who is that distinguished and that high of a level to always be willing to want to learn and to try get different ideas from different coaches, that speaks a lot to the young goalkeeper coaches or the young goalkeepers out there. Never stop learning. Always try and put yourself in the environment where you're tested. And at the same time, too, a lot is expected of you because that's how you get better. Um, again, guys, my name is Omar Zini. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Take care.